Hey Floss Tube, happy 2024. I hope that you all had a great holiday break and happy new year. Uh, today's video is going to be super fun. This is one of the videos that I love to film each year, which will be my year in review. So for 2023, I will be walking you through all of the finishes that I've done, um, a whip parade, and I will go ahead and also talk about some plans that I do have for the upcoming year. So 2023, um, looking back at my old videos, which yes, I did, um, I've definitely changed a lot in terms of my stitching style, um, what I like to stitch, things like that, and you'll definitely see it. Um, so here's some data for some of you that love to hear these kinds of stats. So starting in 2023, I came into the year with 14 projects. So I had 14 whips in my pile. Three of them were from 2021 and 11 were from 2022. I ended up UFOing two projects and finishing 11. Now, <clears throat> out of that, I also have 35 new starts for the year. So all in all, um, I ended up, um, I still ended up with 35 um, overall. So I think that you'll find the projects that I have are more, have a more variety compared to the past few year in reviews that I've had. So for me, that's really exciting because I have a lot of variety to choose from whenever I get, you know, an urge to stitch something. I have a lot more to choose. So hopefully that will help me curb a little bit of that new start that I definitely had a lot of appetite for 2023. Now, out of that 11 finishes, um, five of them are large or bad projects, two of them are medium and four are small. So I think overall that's really, really good. Um, hopefully I, 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 I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on myself to finish the same amount or even try to go higher. I just want to make sure that whatever projects I'm working on are projects that I do want to work on. I don't have time to work on projects that I don't care for just because I have so much in my stash. And I think, you know, life is short, so you should just work on some stuff that you love. With that, let's go ahead and get started with the finishes for 2023. I will be doing this in chronological order. So the very first finish that I had for 2023 is this project Under the Sea by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was a mystery stitch along um, that actually was in 2022 and I finished it in, I believe in January. So this is the project Under the Sea. This is on 32 count opal linen. Um, the I don't really know what the name of the fabric is. I got this from a D stash. I also subbed colors for this project. Um, this called for, I believe, two classic color works, and I didn't have it in my stash and I didn't feel the need to purchase them. So I just went ahead and used up whatever I have. I think I actually just ended up using like DMC slash CXC. So this is it again um yeah first finish of the year for 2023 next up is i think technically this is considered a large only but i could argue that this should be considered a bap so my measurements are coming from whip warriors um they have a measurement so that you can tell like what category your project is um, but this was my second finish of 2023. This is La Capati by Bella Filipina. Um, this is one of my favorite finishes for 2023. I especially had a love-hate relationship on the beatings. So I especially like look at those like um, 
those like grains of rice. Um, this was stitched on 32 count um, opal linen. I think it's called Evergreen by Crafty Kitten UK. I got this fabric from a D stash. It's actually from the same place that I got the fabric from Under the Sea. Uh, absolutely love this project. Um, and yeah, this was it. If you were at Stitch West, I did bring this over there to see in person. So here it is again. <clears throat> Next one is Sweet Bears by Soda Stitch. This was my birthday project in 2022. Um, is that right? Yeah, this was my birthday start in 2022. Um, and I finished it the following year. Um, I absolutely love this project. This is on 32 count um, red, like, I can't even remember the names of the fabric anymore, but this is like those polka dot ones from Zweigart. Um, I got this really cheap off Amazon, so really pretty. Absolutely love this. I stitched on this mostly on Saturdays, and this actually is what prompted me to start Sew to Stitch Saturday. So that is Tree Bears. Still don't know what to make out of this. Maybe, um, I don't know if I want to frame this or put it on a pillow. Um, quick side note, um, Santa got me my sewing machine. So I will finally start FFOing some of my projects. So that's really exciting. Um, okay, so after Sweet Bears, I finished Buttercup by Nora Corbett. Um, this is one of the... Um, I believe this is like the pixie from her pixie collection but this is buttercup and this was stitched on 32 count peaceful purple linen um this is not the called for the called for is i believe antique white but i chose a purple color just to be a little bit different um absolutely love this um I started this when I went to um, Vancouver in 2022. So this was a travel project that I started and ended up finishing it. So buttercup, I finally bought an iron. So hopefully those hoop marks will go away. <clears throat> Next up is marketplace. This is one of those, um, these are like the soda stitch pop-up shops collection this is one of them this is marketplace and this is stitched on 32 count sunset lantana from fiberlicious yummy fibers so um i am gonna i'm still planning on stitching all the shops i just don't have a timeline of when i will be doing it so that's why it's like in such a huge project because i will be putting two more shops in this one um and i'm not doing it in the order that the, ch the charts were charted for i will i am doing this individually because i bought these as a pdf so they came individual patterns rather than three so again this is marketplace <clears throat> next up is clean day again don't worry about these marks i will finally be ironing this i might turn this one into a pillow um but this is clean day. Um, this is actually the piece that um, we started for the hashtag my first soda sal. And a lot of you have joined me, Jordan Tattooed Stitcher, and Amber Rogue Mama Stitcher on it. And so um, this is my piece. I ended up stitching this on a 32 count fabric from Nicholas Flamel Designs on Etsy. Um, and I did a few modification. I ended up changing the skin tone so it looks more like me. Same with the hair. I changed it. I believe the girl is probably a blonde. I couldn't remember. And then I also adjusted the puppy so that it looks more like my dog Hibiki who is a tricolor Aussie. So that is my modification on this. This one was really fun and it took me 
just a little over I believe three days to finish it was such a quick stitch and like I said I was really happy to see a lot of you join us for this one or even picked a different pattern to stitch and use the same hashtag that was really fun too um okay I know I'm breezing through it but that's because I have a lot of whips so my next finish for the year was Santa's Magic this is one of my largest projects that I finished Santa's Magic by Mirabilia um, designed by Nora Corbett this is on the cold four 32 count um I think it's like desert sand linen from Wichelt. I I loved working on this. This is this was my unicorn for a very long time, and I was so fortunate to grab the be able to be gifted the pattern. Um, and I was so happy to have finished this. So, yeah, this is Santa's magic. If you were at the Queen City Stitch Retreat or the Stitch West Retreat. Um, in 2023, I brought these um, for the brag table. So I hope that you were able to see this one in person. He is gorgeous. I am planning on sending this off to get framed. Um, I just need to look it up. I'm, I want to get this framed by Rensel Studio. And I know there's like a huge, um, a huge like lag time in getting this process. So probably not gonna see this for a while once I send it off so I need to read carefully first before sending this off um next finish after Santa's magic is the black widow or widow blacks bnb by praiseworthy stitches I finished this just in time for stitch west I also brought this in the brag table this was super fun um this has buttons in it from just another button company and so i thought that was really cool um i love praiseworthy i am stitching another one and i will be planning on starting a praiseworthy every single year so again this is haunted mansion and then oh, I'm running out of breath okay so then after haunted mansion I finished Golden Fairy Pigs by Soda Stitch. This is a stitch along that I had with Amber of Rogue Mama Stitcher. Um, and I stitched mine on a, I believe this is 28, um, 28 Count Lugana from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Um, this is really pretty. I absolutely love stitching all of these pigs. Um, I named all my pigs. So um based on like what i was feeling when i was stitching each one so that one's really pretty might be going into like a flat fold or something i'm not sure yet but i think it'll be look really good for spring so yeah golden fairy pigs and then the last two that i have are smalls small finishes the very first one this is hollow wee house by chessie and me um, I purchased this kit from Shepherd's Bush when I went to Stitch West. Um, this took me like about three stitching days, although I could argue that technically it was two because the second day that I stitched this, I think I only put in like about like an hour or two of stitching. Um, this was fun. It came with Gloriana and Belsois silk. So this was like using fancy floss. This is the first time I've used satin stitches. And this cat right here was actually stitched one over one. And this is a 36 count. So that that cat was really small. Um, yeah, this is Chessie and me. And then finally, my last finish of the year. I actually finished this last year. Uh, well, last week uh, before Christmas. You've actually never seen this because technically this is also a new start. And then I finished it a few days later. But this is My Heart's Welcome by Plum Street. Um, really pretty. Um, I believe this is on 36 count old sheet from X2 Designs. 
and I absolutely love it. I love the pineapple that this lady is holding. So this was my last finish of the year. I will be turning this into a pillow. I already picked out the fabric that goes in the back. And so I will be putting this out in display next year. So I absolutely really love this finish. It's so quick um, and it just felt a little bit gratifying. So yeah, that is it. That is my 2023 um, projects that I finished. Um, that seems like a lot. So, um, I hope you're excited for 2024. I sure am. So, um, first of all, let's talk about the two UFOs, um, for 2023. So I already showed one of them, uh, during my mid-year whip parade, which was the Epic Pokemon Generation 1. I UFO'd it. It's actually, I haven't thrown it away or anything like that. I'm not going to. It's currently sitting in my box. I'm hoping one day my sister might adopt it. She said she's open to it, but she's more of a crocheter, not a, not really a stitcher. She does dabble here and there, but I'm going to keep it for her just in case. And then the second project that I've decided to UFO, um, let me, let me see if I can actually, I think it's this one. So the second project that I've decided to UFO is Carols on the Square by Praiseworthy Stitches. It's not really a goodbye forever. Um, first of all, let me show you the progress that I have. This is the one project that I did not work on in 2023, but this is my progress so far. It seems like it's a lot. It's basically this house over there, but as you can see, I have a long way to go. And I originally started this on a 32 count. I have since st started stitching on a 36 and 40 count and so I want to UFO this so that I can restart it on either a 36 or 40. So um, that's really the reason why I'm UFOing it. Um, I feel like it will look, to, at least to me, it might, it, I think it, I'll enjoy it more when I stitch it in that count and also save me some floss. Like yes, I know I've used up some of these but um, I'll still save a lot more using a different fabric so that is my second UFO for the year and it's not a goodbye forever I'm actually going to restart this as soon as I'm done with one of the whips that I currently have so with that said let's go and get started on our whip parade or my whip parade um I think I'm just gonna um, I think I'm just gonna go through it. These are basically all my whips. So as you can see, I also have limited spacing. And so I'm hoping that that would also help me not have too many starts because I have ran out of room. And so this is really all that I can fit. And so these are the most that I can have a new start. So I need to finish so that I can make room for more new starts in the future. So let's go ahead and get started on the whip parade. So I'm just gonna pick these one by one. Um, okay, so my first whip in here, again, this is not in chronological order, but this is Long Dog Samplers called Day and Night. Look. This is the project. I started this um, at Stitch West um, this year and this is my progress so far. I believe, let me see if I can find, I don't know if I still have the tag but I believe that this is called Valor from Picture This Plus. So this is on 40 count. So 40 count Valor um, it's kind of coming out a little bit gray, but it's basically like 
like darker green i guess it's coming out true to color but yeah this is my progress so far i started in the middle um again this is long dog samplers it is sitting in this really pretty bag from so much to love um this is what the lining looks like it's really pretty so yeah i started this um at stitch west in october i even still have my um like my my id floss tuber fancy floss stitch west lover um yeah i'm really excited to continue working on this um, i'm excited about all of my whips so i have no problem picking up any of these ones sorry let me just put this up so yeah i'm using all the called for which everything is in dmc in here so that one's really easy next up this is again so basically the way that i categorize these are based on project bags and sizing so this next one is again in a so much to love bag this one has cows in it it looks kind of like a garden it has like garden gloves and everything um but this next project is apple farm from Kore Batikore. And this is my progress this year. Um, I believe I'm about halfway done. This is stitched on um, 28 count. Um, I think this is called peanut or vanilla latte from Be Stitch Me. This is a Lugana. And I am actually doing a conversion with Victoria Model Flosses for almost all of it. Um, and then I am subbing some back into the original DMC just because 28 count does use up a lot of flosses. So this is my progress so far. I, um, this stitched up really fast. I think I can actually finish this in 2024. So again, excuse all the wrinkles. I am not going to iron all of it for whip parade, but I will iron it in the future now that I own one. So yeah, this one was super fun can't wait to continue stitching on that one i definitely think i can finish this so i might pull this out again in august and just um, work on it until it's done next one is in this other bag again from so much to love this is i believe a Teresa Kogut um fabric this one houses my village of Hawkrun Hollow and this is actually still an AQ snap because I am planning on working on this all year long. I'm planning on finishing one block per month. So this is my progress so far. This is block one. So it's basically this block right here. And so three, so there's like 12. So I want to finish one block per month and that way I can be done by end of the year. Um, we'll see if I can do it, but that's basically the goal for now. I think it should be really good. Um, I am stitching this on 36 count parchment from i believe this is swigart i got this off a of d stash on facebook so this is really good um i did a majority conversion with victoria motto flosses so i did write down my conversion i didn't convert everything because i don't think i have everything but um i'm gonna look through my stash again now that my stash has gotten bigger and see if those ones that i haven't converted actually has something that i have in my stash now so that is the plan this is village of hawkrun hollow <clears throat> okay next up um this is a fun project bag so you can see from the print um it's lots of different candies this bag is um i purchased this from jordan the tattooed stitcher 
she had bags for Stitch West. Um, look, it even comes with a coordinating cupcake. But basically, this bag houses all of the Soda Stitch um, patterns that I started during one of our slumber party um, nights that we had um, in 2023. So let me just see if I can pull. Um, oops. Let me see if I can pull the um, like the what the pattern looks like. Let's see. All right, so this has a few patterns. So like one time, um, like one Saturday or like one weekend, me, Jordan and Amber have decided to go ahead and do like a slumber party. Um, and so we started like a bunch of soda stitch patterns. So I just went ahead and put them all in here because um, the soda stitch uh, most of my soda stitches are on PDF, so I don't have the actual paper pattern. But um, And it felt a little bit silly to put like one fabric in like a project bag because I also work off of a master set of DMC. So it's not like I pull individual flosses for each one. So anyway, here are the different... Um, let me see if I can pull it. Um... These are the different um, whips that I have. So the first one is Ice Cream Ladies. This is what it will look like when it's finished. And this is what I have so far. I started in the middle. The middle one is Strawberry Girl. And this is on a 28 count Lagana by Hand Dyed by Rolanda. So look at that fabric. It's amazing. Um, this stitches up really fast. This is one day of stitching. So I think every girl is probably like three day top. So you can, if I'm counting this, you'll be able to do this within 15 stitching days. So that's really fast if you are looking for a quick project. So again, progress on Strawberry Lady of Ice Cream Ladies. <clears throat> Next up, this is, okay, I'm trying to figure out which one this was. This is my progress. Um, let me show you the pattern. This is Rococo ladies. This is what that looks like. Um, and this is my progress so far. This is on a 25 count Lugana from Be Stitch Me. It doesn't, oh, it's called Shimmer. So 25 count. So I am stitching this three over two. Um, just because it's 25 count, I'm using three strands. Um, I am, Jordan and I are modifying this so that they become Bridgerton characters. And so we are going to do a bunch of conversions. We just haven't really touched this in a while. But I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to remember. But I believe we're changing this to Princess Augusta, which is King George's mom. Um... This is going to be Lady Danbury. This will be Violet Bridgerton. And the last one is going to be Queen Charlotte. So we are going to be making some modifications so they look closer to the character. And then Amber also sent us like the script so um, that we can write down the names at the bottom. So that will be super fun. Um, Come and join us if you're interested. We're happy to also send you those. Um, I believe Rachel from Talking Dog Stitcher is joining us on this. So that will be super fun. <clears throat> Next up, this is a very small start. This is the duck that I've finished. Now I know where my koala needle minder went. Um, 
but this is another one that I started during that weekend and it's called Summer Holiday. Super cute. Again, I'm probably going to modify this to look more like me. Um, that one looks close to what my husband looks like, so I just need to change this one. Um, so that's Summer Holiday. This is... Um, this is like a witch hill fabric that I found in my stash. I'm pretty sure that this was the called for fabric for Christmas Elegance by Mirabilia, but um, I didn't want to use that one. So, um, but you know, I have extra, so I went ahead and used this one. Um, yeah, not, not my favorite fabric, but you know, I gotta use what I have in stash. And it's a small project. I think I can probably like, like I think I'll just need like this much or yeah it's not that much so yeah that's my progress so far I can probably finish that in like a few sections not a you know pretty fast so that's what I love about soda stitch it's really fast you like it's you can knock it out easily um okay next one in this series um this is where did it go? I just saw it. Okay. So this one is my little hair shop by Sona Stitch. I started in the middle and trying to figure out which one's the top. Okay. I think this is the top side, but this is my progress so far it's just like right in the middle of the project and this is the fabric that i chose for that one it's actually really fun this is a 28 count logana by hand dyed by rolanda rolanda doesn't actually like name her fabrics for the loganas um they're usually a number but if you're interested i can give it to you just message me but yeah tiny start but again i think like these finish up really quick so no problem finishing all of these projects i also love soda because you get to pick such fun fabric colors like i know there are some times like where i've been like i don't know what will i will use that project like that fabric for but it's a perfect soda fabric okay and then last one I really did go crazy. Um, the last one, let me go grab it. The last one is called A Good Washing Day. And this, look at this fabric. Um, you're like, where's the start? It's in the middle again, because I love middle starts. It's easy. You can just get started ASAP, but um, this fabric is called Abyss by Pole Stitches. I believe this is a 28 count Lugana, but I absolutely love it. Look how crazy this color is. It's gonna look so good when it's finished. So yeah, those are my soda stars for that slumber party weekend. Um, if you're ever interested in stitching any of these with us, just, you know, go ahead and get started, like, and tag us, like, we'd love to see it. Um, I actually wanted to point out how cool this project bag is from Jordan. Look at the inside. Let's appreciate this unicorn rainbow inside. It's so fun. Oh, I'm so excited. Definitely have a lot of sodas for 2024. For me to do hashtag so to stitch saturday all right so there's that um next one this is on a super cute um project bag again made by jordan this is like christmas cookies um it has a coordinating like snowflake charm on it really pretty and this houses one of the new projects that I started in December. This is called Going to Grandma's by Praiseworthy Stitches. And this project is really fun. This is my table for 
start so basically this project i'm stitching this with my table mates from queen city stitch retreat um did i put it away yes i did um so i am stitching this with jordan amber um sarah memphis sarah e denise from black ribbon stitch studios and lisa cross by floss so funny story this is technically a restart so this is the original start that i had this is on a 40 count agua fresca by um grace notes fabric the issue is i started this on 40 so the model stitch i believe is 32. i stitched this on 40 because i wanted to save on floss but i didn't look at the instructions um because if i did i would have noticed that some of the stitches are blended so you have to blend your thread with a blending filament um crinic and so on 40 count it was really hard my crinic kept shredding and so i have to abandon this i'm gonna frog this out so i can reuse the fabric and i went ahead and restarted this on a different one so this is my new progress i actually also started on a different side this time i now started it in the middle but this is my progress this is on 36 count um 36 count true blue by fox and rabbit um i bought this from um thread the needle society that used to be called stacy stitches creative studio so yeah um loving this so far so my plan to make progress on this because i really do want to make sure that i work on this is i think um so this is table four hashtag table four is going to grandma's um i'm gonna try to stitch on this every time the date has a number four so january 4 14 and 24. i think i'm gonna stitch on this and see how far i get i'm gonna follow this for the next few months and then see how my progress is um and yeah go from there so <clears throat> going to grandma's um when i finally finish with this that is when i will restart the um the carols on the square that i ufo'd i didn't want to have too many praiseworthy stitches open that are basically the same theme just because like you know i don't want to get burnt out by it so yeah that is it um the going to grandma's is i wanted to show this off because it's super freaking cute but look at the floss tags they're beautiful they are basically weeks dye works and um gentle art so really pretty this is from sweet autumn stitch um floss tags they're so cute all right next up this is again another bag from jordan um this one has this really pretty flower charm on it and this one houses my goody grimwood pattern from plum street samplers it is so cute look at that and this is my progress so far um it's not the biggest progress it also looks like i am missing i believe that is a threader that i'm missing but i've only gotten started on the flowers um but yeah so far it's a fun stitch that was only one day um, I started it and I haven't touched it um, but I do have all of the flosses I pull these out um, I did have to make some conversion in it which I kind of wish I remember what I did so I'll have to figure that out um, but yeah I had to do some conversion because I wanted it to look 
closely to what the um like what the colors are because some of them look a little bit different and so um i just made a few minor adjustments so yeah that is goody grimwood again since this is a fast stitch i don't think this is gonna take too long um this is on a fiber on a whim um fabric i just can't remember the color i also don't need the entire like i don't need the entire like fabric i i think i only need like a little bit so um <clears throat> we shall see i wish that i kept the name of the fabric or i think i actually see it hold on oh, okay it is cream and sugar 36 count so kind of matches my sweater or sorry cool all right We are almost there for the first shelf. And there's not too many shelves. So, um, like I said, I have about 35 of these. So, I knocked through a lot. Okay, next one. This is in this project folder from Shiba Designs. But this is um this is a garden party by mirabilia and this is my project so far um project progress so far so this is on i want to say this is 32 count um uh, this is like Halloween, like a Halloween color from Barbaral Creations um, that I picked up. It's an opalescent linen. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love how bright the lanterns are showing. Um, and I started this with Sarah, Memphis Sarah E. Um, I absolutely love this. I had to frog out quite a bit. I actually had a little bit more done, but it wasn't really laying nicely with this. So I went ahead and frogged it and then I'm going to restitch this. I am also probably going to do a skin conversion. So this is supposed to represent me and um, Sarah. So I think I'm going to change the color on this one. And I'm going to take the skin color from Bella Filipina so that it matches more of my skin tone. So that is my plan. I am planning, I'll talk about that later, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's plans to stitch this in 2024 and make a lot of progress. So exciting. Again, this is what it looks like. I think it's called Old Witch Cape or something like that. Yeah from Barbaral Creations. It's in Hungary. Their packaging is very similar to XGU Designs. So yeah, I actually brought this with me at Queen City. So you probably might have seen me stitch this over there. I absolutely love this. This project bag is ginormous. All right. <clears throat> Next up is in this Coraline bag, project bag. This is from Shiva Designs. And this is Sale at the Bubbling Pauldron. I am just missing the cover. Found it. So this is the cover, Sale at the Bubbling Cauldron by Praiseworthy Stitches. This is what the project will look like once it's done. And it is still on the hoop. This is 
my progress so far, ending in 2023. Um, this is stitched on a 32 count fabric from Nicholas Flamel. This is part of that Harry Potter potions collections that he has. So this is like the purpley version. Um, and this is my progress. I have been stitching this on the 13th and the last day of the month. Or if I know that I'm gonna be gone like the last day of the month, I usually just do double, so 13 and 14. So yeah, this is super fun. This is a Stitch West start, and I started this one with Jordan um, when we were at Stitch West together. So super fun. This stitches up really fast. I believe this is about four working days, so super duper fast it's not a big it's not a big haunted house compared to widow black b and b so it, it's definitely like half the size so it's definitely doable i'm planning on finishing this so that in october i can go ahead and do another start um all of these are using the called for um Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts. If you've also stitched Widow Black BNB, it has a lot of overlapping colors and I definitely had a lot of remaining process for that project. So before I broke out a new skein, I went ahead and used up those first. So yeah, that is Sail at the Bubbling Cauldron. Next up is in this really cute, like, fall halloween vibes with the pumpkins and these um characters shiba design project bag and this has my mirabilia thanksgiving fairy this comes as a kit um and this is my progress so far so um this is what it looks like this is on a 32 count um this is on a 32 count linen from nicholas flamel i believe this is from the vegetable garden collection this is like the orangey one i absolutely love it um i started this at the queen city stitch retreat um i absolutely love it um Sarah Memphis Sarah E has done a beautiful job on hers and she FFO'd it into like a super nice frame. Um, please go and check out her channel if you'd like to see what it looks like. So yeah, really fast project as well. This will be my third fairy um, for this collection. This comes as a kit. Um, you can buy the charts now instead of buying the full kit. I don't think you can actually buy the full kit by itself anymore. The kit originally comes with this fabric, um, raw natural linen, but I wanted to do something different for this one and stitch it using my own, um, my own choice. Um, with this, it actually uses classic color works and so it's a little bit different than the other Mirabilia projects. <clears throat> I'm definitely could finish this this year. Um, it doesn't take that long. My last, the last two that I did, it took like 14 stitching days. So definitely doable as well. All right. So that is it for this project. I will put everything together back later otherwise we'll be here forever all right so um next up <clears throat> this is on it's very pretty purple shiba this one oh, okay so this one is one of i don't think this is the newest nora um nor the I don't think this is the newest Mirabilia anymore, but at the time it was, this is Delphine's Butterfly Brigade um, from Mirabilia, designed by Nora Corbett. Um, this is what that looks like. Um, and I started it as soon as I got my chart and fabric. 
I just need to figure out what's the top, but I think this is it. Um, this is my progress so far. I started in the middle. I am using 28 Count Unicorn Dreams by Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. I absolutely love this fabric. Looks amazing. Um, now, this project is quite big. It is 257 by 206. Um, I have a very, very tight margin on the side. So the width on 28 count is going to be super tight, but I'll have more than enough margin from top to bottom. So I'm okay with that. Um, I'm not going to restart it, but I did start in the middle so that I know for sure that my fabric will at least like the design will at least fit. So yeah. This is a lot. It uses up a lot of skeins for some of the DMCs. So for example, you need four skeins each of 153 and 310. You also need five skeins of number 24. And then you have a bunch more. And then um, this is what the bead pack looks like. The bead pack is also a lot. Um, a lot 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 um yeah it has a lot <laughs> this is the material list it's quite a lot and a lot of crinic it's just a lot um but yeah so far so good um i'm absolutely obsessed with this fabric so i'm definitely oh this is an opal linen not just a regular one um yeah, more to come in 2024. Next one. This is one of my newest project bags. Melissa from Sheba um, told me she has um, leftover fabric for this. And I was so bummed that I originally missed this when she came out. And... I'm so glad she had extra so she made me one so pretty this is from tula pink but basically this house is baker's wife from mirabilia i am stitching this on 32 count raw opalescent um fabric so this is my progress so far i definitely did not need a full fat quarter I think I can fit this in a smaller like probably like a fat eight but I went ahead and did it um I just have a small start on this I started this when Queen Charlotte came out um and for a while I was debating if I want to restart it and um do like a skin conversion like some others have done but I don't know I might just do it as is because I already am doing a modification on Soda Stitch. I don't want to do like too much. So I think I'll stick with how it is. Um, this is the bead pack for this one. Quite a lot. Um, I am probably going to stitch this again when season three comes out, which comes out in, um, in May. So also comes with Karen Water Lilies. Next up, this is my Elephant Besties. This is open because I opened it earlier. But this has my Market Shops from Soda Stitch. Um, so I showed you Marketplace earlier. So another one that I have. Um, let me show you so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Um... Where did it go? I have so many soda stitch. I'm like, which one is it? So I guess let me start with the one that I found. Um, so this is one of the whips that I have. This is called Animal Hospital. Really cute. And um, I have 
have a very small start because I actually restarted this. So all I have is that plant. But this is on a, I want to say this is 32 count. Um, I don't even have the name anymore. But it's from Pull Stitches. I wish I kept the bag because you know Pull Stitches, they don't staple the name. It's just... Um, like it's in the plastic bag and I, I threw it away. So I think this is called Summer Breeze. Something like that. So it's really pretty though. It's like a really pretty blue. So that is one of the pop-up shops that I have going on. And then the other one. Let's see. Where is the other one? I don't know why I can't find it. It's so bizarre. Yeah, either I'm blind or it's not here. Let me search it. Sorry, y'all. I can't spell for the life of me. Okay. All right, I found it. <clears throat> so this is the other one that I have. This is called Boutique really cute and this one is on a purple fabric and this is my progress so far i am about halfway there i just stopped because it was too much white stitching for me so this is what that looks like almost could definitely finish this in like probably two sessions so i'm not that worried all right next up again another besties a lot of these are shiba designs um okay so my next one is called it's another soda stitch this is called Tree Bears. And this is where I'm leaving off for the year. This is on 32 count watermelon slushy from Be Stitch Me. So this is where I'm leaving off. As you can see, there's a bear in the making. Um, I am stitching this with Jordan and Sarah, Memphis, Sarah E. We have a hashtag tree house or no tree bear style. So if you'd like to join us, please do. Um, I am probably going to bust them out again in July for Christmas and July stitching. I would love to get this done by end of this year because these are one, this is one of my 2022 projects. So it would be good for me to finish. It's also like super fun. Um, Sarah and Jordan also have, like, we all started in different places. So if you'd like to see, like, another point, like, another section, you should definitely go and check out their channels. <clears throat> Next one is in this beautiful Teresa Kogan Halloween bag. This is my second oldest whip. Someday I will finish. I don't have a huge rush to finish it, but it's basically full coverage. This is Letty Stitch Fairy Tale House. Um, absolutely love it. It comes in a kit. So it actually comes in a pre gridded kit. And this is my progress so far. It is very beautiful. Um, this is on a 16 count Ada and using anchor um, anchor flosses. So really pretty. This is my second oldest one. This whip is from 2021. So um, I am probably going to try to get this done by next year. So not this year, but next year. Um, the last time I picked this up, I believe was when 
I took my dad to get his um, his arm, like his wrist um, surgery, and I worked on it in the parking lot. So I'm hoping to pick this back up again sometime in 2024 and make a little bit more progress. Okay, next one is in this beautiful woodland project bag. And this one, this one has special to me. This is my very first sampler when I finally caved in. This is Hannah Dawson 1831 from Fox and Rabbit. So this is what the pattern looks like. I absolutely love this. It has a lot of um, components and motifs that I love, like uh, big house, like sheep. Um, this, I absolutely love this. Um, and, ooh, it's in a very soft fabric. This is on 40 count Verdal called, um, I believe it's called Lightly, oh, here it is. Lightly salted, not roasted from Be Stitch Me. And this is my progress so far. I was so excited when the borders like matched on the side. So um, really pretty. I'm going to try to stitch, stitch these on Sundays, but I absolutely love it. It's so dainty. Um, this also has some fancy flosses. This has, um, the flosses are Belle Soir from Classic Color Works. So I fully kitted this or a majority kitted this up from my LNS and I did not realize how much Belle Soir silk cost. So had a very, ooh, when I um, checked out. So look at this beautiful mushrooms. So pretty. So yeah, I'm hoping to get more progress on this. Um, I'm going to try to touch these on Sundays or some Sundays, really whenever I can. It's just too pretty not to like stitch on. And stitching on it is like butter because it's just so soft. I love it. All right, next up, this is again on like a mushroom bag. Again, this is like a vinyl. This one has a vinyl print on it. And this is another soda stitch. I have about 11 soda stitch whips for 2024. I'm gonna try my best to at least finish half of it, which I think is doable because a lot of these are super easy. Like, like they're doable. Um, so this next one is called Elf Tree. This is what it looks like. And this is where I left off in 2023. So not bad. Um, I believe this is a 32 count. It is a hand dyed by Rolanda, but I lost a tag. I want to say it's 32. Yeah, it's 32. It says 32 at the bottom. Um, but yeah, this is on 32 count. And I am stitching this with Jordan. Um, we have a few people join us on this one. I'm really excited. So I know um, talk. Did Talking Dog Stitcher join us on this one? I'm not sure. Rachel, did you start this? Maybe you should if you haven't. Um, I know Jill from, I think her new channel is C Jill Stitch has joined us as well. So that's really cool. Um, I'm sorry if I left you out, but um, just please tag me. Um, I'd love to see your progress. I'm going to be pulling this for So The Stitch Saturday starting in um, as soon as I'm done with one of the other projects but i will definitely be putting a focus on this um this year promise all right i am getting a little bit disorganized here so i might have to put up 
some of these project bags back up so that I can make room. All right, my next one. Um, this one is an adoption. This is a very beautiful project bag. This is a Dimensions Gold called um, Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom Creek. And my sister started this project and then gave it back to me because she doesn't care for it. So I adopted it. But I haven't really put much stitching on it either. This is my progress. My mom helped her start with that masking tape. So old school. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Has a long way to go. I don't even know if I want to really call it like a whip because I haven't touched it since my sister gave it back to me. So... I don't know, would you count this as a whip? It's in a project bag. And I adopted it, so I guess. But yeah, maybe someday she'll take it back. Maybe. Okay, my next one is another soda stitch. Um, okay. Next one is called Puppy Bakery. It's so cute. Look how cute that is. And this is on the Q-snap, meaning I am focusing on this in January. This is my progress so far. Look how cute. I named this one Toffee. Um, yeah, this is my progress from 2023. I'm planning on finishing this in 2024. So this is why it's on a Q-snap. And it's on this like super cute coffee bag. I'm stitching this on my like leftover CXC threads. And then this doesn't count because this is a 2024 start. <laughs> All right, next one is this is my oldest. This is my oldest whip from 2021. This is Paris Market from Dimensions Gold Collection. Look how pretty. And guess what? It's on the hoop. I'm so excited because it means that I'm going to put some stitches on it. I do want to finish this soon because I started this in 2021. So my goal is to actually finish it this year. So. I will try my very best. I'm not gonna cry if I don't, but that is my plan so far. So yeah, I've only touched on this a little bit in 2023, so I wanna make more progress. I mean, like, look at that. It's beautiful, so. And it is in like a gorgeous, like really, really pretty bag from um, Sheba. Um, see, the loops. All right, so that completes the first, the second, um, the second shelf. I'm gonna have to put some of these back because I got no room. So let's just take a break. Maybe you wanna get some drink, something to drink, while I put this back. Please, I'll put it back for just so I can make a little bit more space. All right, we are on the final shelf. So, next one. Um, next one is Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. Um, I started this um, last month in November. While I was in Japan, I started this with Jordan. And I made significant progress. I'm gonna actually take it out of the nerd so you can see how little I have left. And I'm so excited. I definitely killed this project. Like, 
look how far I've come. I'm so close. I just need to finish. I just need to finish the house and then I need to put the year. Okay, so I finished like three fourths of this project. I want to say like 85% of this project I stitched in 2023. So I'm a little bit torn. What year would you put? Would you still put the year that you finished it or the year that you majorly finish it? So this is it. This is on a 36 count fiber on a whim um, project or um, fabric. Um, I can't remember the name of the project though. I think this is cappuccino. But yeah, look, I'm so close. So yeah, I just need a few more, a few more stitching days for this and then I will be done. Definitely a 2024 finish though. Um, I just don't know what, what year I should put. So you let me know if that was you, what day, what year you would pick. All right. And, oh, I forgot to mention the project bag. So this project bag is, I believe this is a Teresa Kogut fabric, but this project bag is from Dot Dot Goose. And yes, it also has the My Heart's Welcome in here. I need to take that out because I finished it already. Okay, next up. This is a start that I did in December. It's a Teresa Kogut fabric. This is from Sheba. And this is... Christmas Parade by Cottage Garden Sampling. Um, absolutely love this one. I am stitching this on 36 count oxygen from Atomic Ranch. Look how beautiful. So pretty. It's very dainty. And I splurged and I'm stitching this on, with using Victoria, not Victoria, Vicky Clayton silks. Oh, it is so soft. Like I wish like you can feel it through the camera, but it's so soft. Like it's freaking soft. I don't get it. Like it's softer than the Belsois. But yeah, it's beautiful. And then I have like these super fun um, floss tags that I got from team Egner on Etsy but yeah really pretty I'm so excited I don't need the full size either like I only need half of this so I will be cutting it later once I reach the bottom just so I know I don't like undercut so yeah really pretty next one um I started this on my other sleepover, my fancy lady sleepover. That one was with Jordan, Amber, and this time we were also joined by Amanda, Lucky Chan Stitcher. Um, so this is my start during that weekend. It is Miss Cherry Blossom by Mirabilia. And this is my start right there in the middle this is stitched on 32 count summer soiree by um by fiberlicious yummy fibers it was one of her fabric of the month club it's so pretty absolutely love it i will be picking back up miss cherry blossom like around springtime so that will be super fun it has some Krynex. Beautiful. I have the beads on it. And it comes in this gorgeous rosy. I know cherry blossom and roses are two different flowers, but I love it. <clears throat> that one was a super fun weekend too. Okay. There's that. So that will come back out in April. Next one. Ooh, this one is another um, another Teresa Kogut 
fabric bag. And this is from Dot Dot Goose. And this one is another start that I did this year. This is like one of my um, Halloween like projects. I have some strings, I have some flosses stuck. I need to clean that out. But um, this is Midnight Watch by Blackbird Design. So a lot of people have stitched this in the last few years. I absolutely love it. Um, this is where I'm leaving off in 2023. So this is where I am so far. This is on 32 count um, linen from Nicholas Flamel. So this is the second, this is, um, this is the other half of that potions collection of his. So I'm using the green one and the purple. So this is the green one. Really pretty. I'm excited. I will definitely finish it this year too because these things like, they don't take that long. Like this, I think is like day three. Like look how much I've done. So yeah, really pretty. Um, I wanna point out that I am using these really cute floss drops from the Mary Crow. Um, her name is Lorinda. She's actually Jordan's mother-in-law. So I bought these from Stitch West at her shop. Um, she will be at Stitch West in April if you'd like to purchase some of these she also has an etsy store if you can't wait until then but yeah i transferred all of my flosses on here it is so pretty um yeah i can't wait to stitch on this like i said i'm actually very excited with all of my projects and um, i hope you're seeing a lot of variety in them compared to the last you know few years because i am i'm really excited but this is also why I started a lot of projects because I didn't have as much projects from 2022 and older. So, okay. Next one is in here. It is actually this one. This is Poison Apple by Bella Filipina. This is what this looks like. The poison apple and this is my progress it's on the hoop because it is going to get some love in January so um, I absolutely love this this again is a quick stitch um, didn't take me that long um, I didn't like um, I didn't like the look of the like one strand of um petite treasure braids on this fabric so i went with two strand but because i used two strand i ran out really fast so i did have to reorder um so that's the only thing but yeah i love this so far this is on um i want to say this is a 32 count um 32 count opal um opal logana from hand dyed by Rolanda so really pretty I believe I also started this on that fancy lady um like fancy lady slumber party weekend so really pretty all right um all right next up is a new start this is like look how cute oh so pretty okay so this one is called Kringles from Little House Needleworks it is so pretty I've had this kitted up for a very very long time like years i went to my lns and i got this kitted up and then i just never um like i never started it um which i'm kind of glad i never did because i originally handpicked like um 
I originally handpicked like the called for, which is the 30 count Parisian gray. But now that I've started stitching on like 36 and 40, I went ahead and started this on a 40 count. So this is my progress. I finished one of the rooms so far. Look how pretty. Um, I'm trying to remember what fabric this is. I believe this is an X G. No, it's not. This, I'm kidding. This is color and cotton. Color and cotton, 40 count. It's called, I don't know if that's really the color. It says limited edition. But yeah, it's really pretty. I'm excited. Um, I have all of the called for and I transferred it in these floss drops. I'm very late into the game. I know like floss drops have been like in for like a very long time, but yeah, really pretty. I'm on my floss drops era. <coughs> Don't laugh. Better late than never. Ooh, getting a little tickle in my throat. Yeah, um, <clears throat> honestly, the bricks are not that bad as long as like as long as you do it room by room like i think that makes it doable <clears throat> all right we are almost there y'all okay next step is in this project bag that i got from this lady shelly or sherry <laughs> Um, from Stitch West, but this is my Pansy Patch Quilts Peppermint Lane series. So, this is my progress so far. That tiny little project. I am stitching the first one, which is Peppermint House. Um, right now i have it in like one gigantic fabric because i was thinking of framing it instead of making it into pillows but i might make it into pillows i'm not sure yet but for now i'm working on the first one this is on 40 count swiss chocolate mocha from grace notes fabric that i picked up during the queen city stitch retreat I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to finish the house and go from there. I don't have the biggest, like, um, like the biggest hurry to finish all nine. So I'm going to do one at a time. So for now, I'm going to finish working on Peppermint House and then go from there. Um, I also transferred again in these beautiful floss drops they're so pretty they're not that many colors either so and they stitch up quite nice there's that then this one is a nutcracker bag from little boat 88 and this houses Christmas Elegance by Mirabilia, which I actually put some stitches in last night. Um, this is my progress. So um, this is my start for Sarah's birthday, hashtag so fancy B-Day Sal. There was also a hashtag by Maggie Kitchy Whips. Maggie, I don't know if you remember, but you have a hashtag. Hashtag Christmas Elegance Sal. <laughs> um, yeah, this is Christmas Elegance. She is beautiful. Um, I am stitching this on a 32 count opal linen. Um, I believe it's called Whimsical from Be Stitch Me. It was a Fabric of the Month Club a few years ago, and I thought it would be perfect for this project instead of the called for like witch old. So I went ahead and switched out the fabric. I got this kitted up by one of those companies um, a while back. So it kitted up every like all the flosses and stuff. Um, and this is the 
name of that um, of that store. E L G K. So yeah, again, the purples are twenty twenty four stitches. So really pretty. So beautiful. It has a lot of greens. And look at the beads. It's quite a lot. So she will be very blingy. All right. This one is another start. Um, got all the mermaids. This is another start from that fancy lady slumber party weekend. This is... Um, I don't have the, like, I don't have the sleeve. I bought this on eBay on an auction. Um, so I just have the chart and the cover photo. So this is Gypsy Mermaid by Mirabilia. So pretty. And I am stitching it on this fabric, which is called mermaid mules this is my progress so far this is mermaid mules 32 count linen from fiberlicious yummy fibers another um like another um fabric of the mud club color this is gorgeous um i absolutely love this i am looking forward to working on it this year I just want to point out it has a lot a lot 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 Karen water lilies but look how beautiful these are like it is gorgeous so beautiful I also lucked out because when I bought this on eBay it came with three-fourths of the Karen water lily so I only had to pick up like an additional like two so yeah, it's so pretty. I can't wait to finish it. It's definitely gonna pop in this project. And let's see, what else? Okay, I got three more. Whew. This one is in this Little Women project bag, again from Little Boat 88. Um, this is, let me see. Oh, this is kind of old school. Like, it has a Paco organizer inside. But this is Maria McKilling by Bella Filipina. I kind of messed up the chart, like, cover, so it's not that pretty. But, yeah, Maria McKilling. And this is my progress on it. I can't tell what is up or down. Let's say this is it. Um, this is my progress. This is on 32 count Queen Crepe Myrtle from Fiberlicious, another fabric of the Mud Club. So yeah, this is my project. I will be putting a focus on this this year because I want to finish this because I got a bunch of Bellas I want to finish. I got a bunch of Bellas that I want to start and I can't start anything until I made finishes because I have quite a lot of fancy ladies right now um but yeah really beautiful here are all the crinex um as you know um or i'm i i may have like already i mentioned this already but um <clears throat> my dad grew up in that town that maria mckilling supposedly like looks after so i've always known about her like growing up so it was nice to see the name to a face okay almost there guys okay super cute this is a dimension called um home for the holidays so this is what it looks like i started this in 2022 when i went to japan for my honeymoon and this is my progress i actually worked on this this um in 2023 so for the month of december when i was working from home i picked this up whenever i have some free time so i actually was able to get a good amount of chunk um i don't have the biggest 
hurry to finish this. It's also not that big. It's quite small. I it's so freaking stiff. Like it's so stiff. Um I don't like these kit fabrics, but I'm going to use them anyway. So, I'm going to just continue to do that every time until I end up finishing it. Um it's pretty easy. The thing though is like the fabric is really stiff and then it has like a lot of those like five strand blends so it gets a little bit tough sometimes it, it actually sometimes bends my um it sometimes like bends my needle all right y'all this is my last whip this is in this gorgeous project bag by river town designs which is sarah's sister-in-law it's a london project bag and this is called the palace and this is a letty stitch kit it came in a 16 count i think this is dub gray and this is my progress so far again one of those stiff adas but this is full coverage so i'm not gonna change it um again not in the biggest hurry to finish but i actually don't I started on the corner. I kind of wish I didn't, but I'm almost there. So I just need to like put in a few skeins here and there. So this is my progress so far. The London bus is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, so Sarah gifted this to me for my birthday last year along with this project bag. So Sarah and I are starting this together. I am. Um, I'm gonna try to put in like at least like one, like one strand, maybe like once a week so that I can make significant progress on it and finish this in a few years. It's, it's a lot, but it's gonna look beautiful. It's a gorgeous piece. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That is my... 2024 whip parade um technically all right so i kind of it's not really a miss but i'm participating in a round robin with amber and jordan maggie kitschy whips jamie teeny weeny little stitches or sorry <laughs> teeny weeny stitches and mary the daydream daydream stitcher so I don't have my own fabric, but I am currently working on Mary's. So this is what has been done so far. As you can see, all of my different ladies have stitched theirs. And we have, they've all like written their names. So I'm currently working on mine. It's quite small, so it's like on a baby hoop. Um, but this is Mary's fabric. Um, and there's two more ladies to go. So after this, it's just one more lady and then our fabrics come home. So I technically had four mini finishes in 2023 because I did stitch up every single girl here on different fabrics. Um, and I'm counting them as a mini finish. So yeah, that was like the one whip that I forgot to mention. So yeah, that is it for my whip parade. Um, let's talk real quick about 2024 plans. I don't like having super concrete plans because I have a lot of projects. I have a lot of stuff in my stash and I love to collect. So I don't really want to, you know, I don't wanna keep making plans and then I'm gonna break them because then I feel bad and then it's no longer enjoyable. But there are a few things that i know for sure will happen one has already happened but i had a new start for new year um i'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the pattern so this was my newest start for the new year in 2024 this is winter moon by plum street sampler and i started this with jordan last night so really beautiful we bought the kit from country garden sampler um and it came fully kitted up for us so 
we started that i'm gonna finish pin up girls and whatever projects i said that i could finish in 2024 um what else um i am going to try to keep up with mira mondays so for the month of january because it's still wintry i'm gonna put a christmas elegance for the month of january for mira mondays for fridays bella filipina friday that is actually hosted by grace and james so grace of gracefully slow stitcher and james the ph stitcher they host the hashtag bella filipina fridays so i will be joining that starting in january my focus piece for january is going to be the poison apple um maria mckilling is older but poison apple stitches up a lot faster it's a lot smaller so i'm going to focus on that first and then um every 13th and last day of the month i am stitching sail at the bubbling cauldron um and then i will put that in full swing towards the second half of the year so i can get a finish by october um going to grandma's i'm going to try stitching it in the days that has a four in it so i can get some traction i would like to finish up the peppermint house this month same with block number one for villages of hawk run hollow and yeah saturdays are reserved for so to stitch saturday for january and possibly february the pro focus project is going to be puppy bakery because i'd like to get that finished and then once that is done then i will switch that over to elf tree because that will be my second project that i'd like to finish um i'm going to put out paris market as much as i can um just so i can get that finish and then you may notice hey you missed one bag so this is a plant start but i don't know when i'll start it i know that i will be starting it but basically this bag houses my chatelaine paris mandala um i tried to start this but i failed miserably i just i couldn't figure out how to start it so i did a middle start the middle start are small like i believe they're like one over one stitches on 32 count and i chose antique white which was really boring so i did pick up another fabric to potentially use but i don't know when i will start this yet but maybe i will in 2024 i'm not sure yet but i do just have that um <clears throat> with that said i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope that you all have a great 2024 Thank you all so much for all the continued support. I absolutely am so, like, I can't believe we're here in 2024. It flew by so fast. I felt like we lost some time in 2020 and then everything just like flew by really fast. So thank you for everything. Thank you for all of the likes, the subscribe, the subscriptions, the comments. Thank you for following me in both YouTube and Instagram. I really appreciate it. Thank you for communicating with me. I really appreciate everything. And I hope that we all have a great year in 2024. Um, all right. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you soon in the next week or so for a regular floss tube. Thank you all.